Hi, this is Ellen from Rent Roll Starter. Today I wanted to continue my series about letting you in on a few secrets I kept in relation to how I ran my rent roll without ever having an office. So I've shared some information with you in previous videos about using your website as your virtual shop front, using a landline phone number and then ideally using an outsourced reception service. But now I wanted to share with you how I managed the physical office side of things or the perception of having a physical office. So when I first started I immediately got myself a PO box because that meant that I could promote that address as my office address and it meant that some that people had somewhere to send mail because I didn't want mail sent to my home address obviously. Um, but shortly after that I actually engaged a virtual office or I took out a membership with a virtual office. Now virtual offices are pretty common in metropolitan areas and some regional areas as well and they're such a cool concept because they're usually an office in a professional corporate building that you can pay a small membership fee to advertise the fact that your office trades from that location. So usually there's a receptionist sitting at the front desk um, and she's some, she, he or she is someone who is willing to collect the mail for you and maybe if people drop off documents she'll take them for you. Um, I also used to, if I needed people to pick up or drop off keys, that used to be done from the virtual office as well. There was also the opportunity to book out meeting and conference rooms there as well. So if I needed to have a formal meeting with someone and I wanted to have that meeting in a nice, quiet business location rather than uh, just at a vacant house or at a cafe, I used to book the meeting room there and because I was a member of that office I got a discount on the hourly rate of that meeting room. So that's what I did with a virtual office and I found that really really effective and even though I had a receptionist on hand at that virtual office because in real estate my call volume was very high I still outsourced my phone answering service to another company just so that they could handle the call volume that I had. Uh, but different virtual offices have a different number of receptionists so um, you just need to find out about your local one. Now in some regional areas virtual offices just don't exist so it can be challenging having trying to find this sort of a solution and for people who are in that that sort of a situation or that sort of an area, I probably suggest that you approach a complementary business like maybe a mortgage broker or an accountant or a conveyancer or a solicitor, someone who is complementary but not in competition with you and you might be able to set up a virtual arrangement with them where you can promote the fact that your business trades from that location where if people need to drop something off or pick something up you can leave it with their receptionist but you don't necessarily have to work from that location or pay full rent on that location because you're not actually taking space, you're just using the address as, as your trading address. So for me it was an incredibly affordable solution for me. Um, I think it only cost about $75 a month and that, that varies according to location. I was based on the central coast of New South Wales um, and yeah, it was about $75 a month to use that service and it just gave the perception of a really professional office. It looked as though I was in a shared office, um, so customers and clients were okay with that. They understood that sometimes people share offices. So it was just a really good setup and it creates the perception of being established and professional without having the outlay of tens of thousands of dollars every year to take your own office space, let alone the fit out of an office as well, which can be incredibly expensive too. So that's a little secret that I had to be able to run my office completely virtually. I was still operating my business from my home office, um, but I just was able to promote the fact that I was located in a pretty established corporate location in my area. And it just meant that if people needed to meet me somewhere, I could use that location as my meeting point. So that's a little trick of the trade that you can use um, in your business as you're getting to establish your business as well. And if you've ever used a virtual office, I'd love to hear your experience. Perhaps pop, the com pop a comment in the comment section below and just let me know what your experience has been of a virtual office and how you've used it in your business. I'd really love to hear that. 
If you've got any questions about this or anything else in relation to starting a rent roll, feel free to contact us at rentrollstarter.com.au. My name's Ellen, I'm from Rent Roll Starter and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!